Hey there, I'd like to share my review on this silicone kitchen mat. So I make a lot of cinnamon rolls and rolls and different things like that, pie crusts so, and pizzas. So I really like this as far as helping me to know like how big I wanna make my pizza. There's also some measurement suggestions down here as far as grams to cups. If you're needing that, you know, broke apart. Plus you can see on the outside of the edge you have the cutting as well. And then use and care. So it's a non-stick mat. And that's what I love about this. When I am making my pie crust, pizza crust, things like that, I can use so much less flour on this mat. Um, you just have to wash it with warm soapy water. It is dishwasher safe, although honestly, I just wipe mine down with a wet rag and soap and dry it off and put it away. Um, dry it completely before storing. Store it flat or roll it so that you don't get any creases in here. In fact, I like to keep the tissue paper that comes with this. And once I dry it, I lay the tissue paper over the top. I flip it in half, flip it in half again, and then flip it in half again. And I actually store mine in my kitchen drawers. So you can see I have a bigger one here. So I absolutely love these mats just because of the less flour that I need to cook on them. So I just thought I'd share with you an example of my sourdough cinnamon rolls. And so these are quite sticky and it rolls up so nice on these mats. Even using my bench scraper, the contents scrape off right, really easily. And then here's even an example of when I started mixing the cinnamon rolls of how I just didn't need a lot of flour. And even though it started sticking at first, it just works so well for baked goods.